Oh, God, it's getting hit already. It's getting hit already. Got him that time. I don't think this is an eater, though. You see that? That was instant. Oh, my God, he's way over there, and he's giant. He's giant. What is up, YouTube? <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in to another episode. So, I have a lot of editing to do. I have about three videos I need to edit. Um, but I have most of the day off. I have something that I have to do in a few hours. Uh, but yeah, I can't help myself. I only have a few hours, so I'm going to try to edit a video, number one. I'm going to try to uh, catch some catfish, number two. And I'm going to try to clean them and cook them all before I have to go do what I have to do. Which, long story short, is I have to go to work because I haven't quit my day job yet. Um, but I want my channel to be different than everybody else's and I also want it to be interactive So if you have any ideas on things that you want me to do, please comment down below. Let me know um, I want this to be as entertaining for you as it is for me Stay tuned. I'm gonna try to catch some fish I'm gonna try to clean some fish and I'm gonna try to eat some fish all before I have to go to work and edit a video Don't forget that part, but uh, please comment down below if you have any ideas uh, I definitely appreciate it. Every comment means a lot to me. I respond to every single one of them, and I will try to respond to every single one of them, even if my channel gets big or when my channel gets big. So I want to be interactive with you guys because none of this can happen without you guys. So definitely appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. It's time to catch some bait. All right, so first step is going to be running and gunning for some bait. Those are too small. The uh, dock is underwater, which... Uh, I guess it's fine. Should I just walk out there? I don't know if I want to get my shoes wet this early. I don't know if they're going to be off this dock. Basically, the high water level is good. Middle of the day, hotter than hell. Water's freaking hot too. You'd think you'd want to go deep, but I'm definitely not going deep. I'm going to actually fish shallow, shallow weed edges um, for these catfish. And uh, that's where I think they're going to be. Um, a lot of people think to go deep when it's hot, but I've actually had, holy shit, this dark is freaking burning my life. I need to go back and get my shoes. Ow, fuck. Jesus. Ow. Squirting. Anyway, I'm going to target shallow water. Um, <clears throat> I just always seem to have better luck during the day. Um, you get more bites. Obviously, you can get some deep, but I just always have more bites. Uh, God, this gulp shit gets freaking hard to get off. Don't leave gulp on your hooks. It's just a pain in the ass. All right, anyway. Um, obviously, you can get bites deep, but uh, they're definitely few and far between. Shallow water. They're definitely up there moving. They're definitely up there eating. So it's always a good place to target for catfish during the day. Um, so that's the plan. Let's see if I can get some bait fish. All right, new spot. Those fish are too tiny. Just kept getting robbed. Well, this looks just about as poopy as it gets. Definitely a bass over there that just swirled on something. I'm gonna have a hard time not turning this into a frogging video. Now we're getting somewhere. Bait fish number one. A couple more like that and we'll be good. Rick is finding the holes that are close to shore but are also deep. And these weeds and uh, the water level being up is definitely making it harder. Nice. <clears throat> Bait fish number two. I'm gonna try to catch one, one more, very briefly and then gonna go set up. Even though they aren't big, two will work for now. Gonna use these to try to catch something bigger and then take it home and clean it and eat it. Going up the food chain. All right, got everything I need. Got my chair, which I normally don't bring because I'm usually all over the place and never sit down. Uh, but this time, I'm just gonna sit, try to find some shade chuck some poles out and see what happens it's hotter than balls out I think it's uh I think it's 144 feels like 180 minus about 40 each way but uh yeah it's still hot oh, shit. 
Hopefully someone doesn't slice their drive and kill me. Shade. Finally. Sweat off about five pounds. Freaking trees. Getting back here, but uh, oh yeah, sweet. The spot I was planning to fish is now a freaking swamp. Which I guess it's fine. Finally got back to the spot. As you can see, I'm sweating my life away. It's definitely hot. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to catch some uh, catch some dinner. We got. Uh, we're gonna have to try a little bit different things here and there because. So freaking hot, my glasses are sliding off my face. All right, we got one sunfish, one bluegill, both small, not big enough to eat, but if something eats them, then, then we're talking. All right, so probably gonna have to cut the weights off, but uh, got my bass rod spooled up with a seven knot. Well, spooled up, spooled up with a 20 pound fluorocarbon, which would be plenty. Um, seven knot circle hook, weight, swivel, um, about a foot liter. I don't need anything too crazy. Um, I'm gonna bomb this one clear out there. Um, the other one's gonna be a bobber. I might have to switch this one to weightless just because there is so many weeds. Uh, but we're just gonna we're gonna try. We got a couple. I got a couple hours. So if I get uh, one catfish, then that's what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I got blood everywhere. All right. Let's see if I can even cast this thing. That, that nice big weed patch out there looks pretty good. Let's see here. I'd say that's about perfect. Even though it's super shallow. Not sure if you can see that, but I made it, made it pretty much right on the weed line. Right where they should be. Oh shit, got one. Got one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I think it came off. Did it come off? So. Couldn't get it out of the damn pole hole there. Well, that didn't take long. Let's get this one right back out. Where it was. Oh, there's a turtle out there. Oh, he's gone. Turtle bite about to happen. I think I about pulled all the freaking line off my bass pole. Well, I think we're in a good little spot. Been here about 15 minutes or so and already got a bite, screwed it up, but, oh, God, it's getting hit already. It's getting hit already. Got him that time. I don't think this is an eater, though. Did you see that? That was instant. Oh my God, he's way over there and he's giant. He's giant. Oh my god, I can't believe this. If I get this thing in, it'll be a miracle. But that thing hit instantly. I literally, that is a whale. That is a freaking whale. I literally had it in for 15 seconds. And it just got smoked by this giant on my bass pole. Oh god. I think it's a giant. He's not fighting very hard, but I'm pretty sure it's a giant. Oh yeah, that's a freaking monster. Oh, that's a 20. That is a 20 pound channel. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. You're fine. I ain't gonna eat you. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. I'm not gonna eat you. I'm not gonna eat you. 
Oh, got him. Oh, shit. That is a freaking big one. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, bud. You gotta just calm down, though. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. That is a freaking giant. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God my camera was on. That is a freaking giant channel. I literally came out here for a catch and cook fish and I caught this freaking whale. <sighs> Middle of the day, 100 degrees, two feet of water, right when it hit the water, I couldn't even believe it. I knew from the second I hooked it though, it was a giant. That is a freaking monster. I'm gonna lay it down on my pole and uh, see how long it is so I can get a guesstimate on weight. But that is a sow-bellied giant. Look at that thing. Oh, God. Bugs are eating me alive. I'm at a city park. I'm literally watching somebody put it in over there. And this is a giant. I can't believe it. Awesome. That thing is a monster. All right, so. Down a little bit. Looks like about to that eye, maybe. Maybe a little shorter. That is the fattest freaking thing I've ever seen though. I'm gonna see if these people can take a picture for me quick and then I'm gonna let it go. Can one of you take a picture for me? How's the golfing? You guys wanna hold it? <laughs> How's the golf? <laughs> All right. Do it, yeah, do it sideways and then uh, if you tap on the fish too, it makes it turn out a little bit better. You Thank you. Appreciate it. No All right. You guys 10 under par today? I will. <laughs> yeah. If I'm 10 over by the end of nine, I'm usually happy. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Let's get this whale back. out of the water a little bit longer than I wanted, but these big channels are pretty tough. Luckily my shoes are already wet. My bobber is still there. Oh God, that's deeper than I wanted to go. Oh my God, look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh my God, that is a giant. That was incredible. This fish is incredible. That bite was incredible. Those golfer ladies are incredible. Oh, it's ready. All right. Later. Later, Sally. I appreciate you. Oh my God. I'm in the water, in the mud, in my shoes. Look, he's right there and you can't even see him. You can't, oh, there he is. Now you can see him. Go on, bud. He's hot. I'm hot, the water's hot. The bite is obviously hot because that was a freaking giant. I don't know, maybe 30. Oh my God, my bobber is going. Oh shit, I fell. I got way too excited there. The phone's wet now, son of a biscuit. Operation dry my shit out starts now. <clears throat> Morning YouTube. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely not the same day. Next day, um, I actually went out later that night to try to catch a eater channel, which uh, didn't exactly work out. But that's okay. I'd rather catch a 20, 25 pound channel, um, pretty much off a golf course over an eater off a golf course any day. So there will be no cooking in this video and uh i'm okay with it um some people definitely shoot for the bigger fish to try to eat but i'm definitely not that person if i catch a big fish i'm pretty much always gonna let it go 
If uh, I catch small ones every once in a while, I'll keep them sometimes. You know, I got family members that want fish. I like eating fish. Girlfriend likes eating fish. The kids like eating fish. Um, so I keep it once in a while. But, uh, yeah, that was just too big to keep. I'm going to keep trying. One of these days, I will get a catch and cook down and actually accomplish it. Because I don't know why it's been so hard. I've tried a couple times. haven't really put it on YouTube. But I've tried a couple times to get a catch and cook. And I just catch fish that are too big. I, that's, that's a good problem to have. So I haven't caught anything small enough that I want to keep. So I'm going to keep trying. One of these next couple videos will probably be a catch and cook. I hope. Because I haven't had fish for a while. And I like fish. And uh, everyone seems to kind of enjoy catch and cook. So I'm not really a huge guy on the uh, challenge videos. But that's one that I think I could be a part of. Because I do it anyway. Like this video. Head on down. Comment. Like subscribe definitely appreciate all the support um, I'm gonna put links to other videos and stuff up around one of these directions I'm not really sure I'm not a, I'm not a scientist but uh, yeah thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one I'm out